Hi, I'm going to use Photoshop to show you how to make a simple wireframe and give you some tips, tips and hints to think about when uh, putting these together. Uh, I've started here with a um, just a white 8.5 by 11 inch, 72 dot per inch um, new uh, new file image. One thing I like to do at the beginning is just make the background a standard layer that's unlocked rather than a, a regular layer, rather than a background layer. Uh, for each um, container or object in your wireframe, create a new layer. And this new layer is just going to be the um, page. And I like using the Select tool to define my uh, rectilinear objects. So I have uh, I've made a uh, a rectangle, and I'm going to fill it with a color. In this case, I'm just going to use 50% gray. And then if I deselect, and there's my object, and here I have my uh, my layer called page. Um, by making each object a separate layer, I can color them, move them, create borders, and so forth. So now I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call it um, Top Banner. Now you can call these anything you want that makes sense for your uh, your Photoshop file and also or whatever file you use and what you label them later on. So now I'm going to create a uh, another rectangle. And I'm going to fill this one with some other color. Yeah, I'm choosing my color. There it is. Slide it up. And we'll just go with that for now. Deselect, and there's the uh, top banner. Now, in terms of labeling these things, I will. Um, I can create a uh, a layer group to put them all the things that relate to the top banner. So under Layers, I'll create a new group. I'll call it uh, Banner. And I'll drag the top banner into that layer group. And now I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to draw a, a text area. And um, I'm going to call just call it Top Banner. And once again, you can call these whatever makes sense for you in terms of how you're describing your wireframe areas. Now I can drag this around where I want it. And then if I want to drag the whole banner, all I have to do is just click on the banner <coughs> la layer group and I can drag the whole thing around. But notice how I've got a gray area in back there. It's moving with me. Uh, what's that? So let's turn this off. I see I've got some gray in there that I kept from the page. So I'm going to select that using my tool here. Uh, make it tolerance one, anti alias none. Deselect and now I'll select just that gray. And now I've gotten that rid of that. So when I turn this off, there I'm good. Turn this off. Okay, and that's just there. Now I can drag the banner around anywhere I want, place it and so forth. Now I'll create some other shapes and then I'll come back online to show you what, in the same manner to, to give you some tips after I create them. Okay, I've created uh, some new um, content areas, uh, uh, object areas on my uh, wireframe. Uh, I have the footer which I can turn on and off because it's its own uh, layer group. Content column, scan column, and then the banner which I started earlier. A couple tips here. Now this, you know, the, uh, the first mistake most people make um, with their wireframes such that they end up looking uh, not professional is they don't align their boxes. So there's a couple ways of do in Photoshop. One way of doing that is to drag a little um, using the uh, I can control and I can drag this uh, guide to where uh, edge of my navigation column. And then if I switch on the banner, I can just nudge that over so it's lined up with it. And then I can even eyeball it if I select the content column, bring this down a little bit. 
and then you see I've got a little extra ridge there so I'll take my uh, eraser tool select the content box switch to the uh, block and just Oop, too much undo Oop, I'm really not doing well here with this one Ugh. trying to shift it so it'll just do a line click shift there we go and even that up really nicely <clears throat> I can do that over here if I want just line that up with the green box and go straight up to line that up there and uh, even go straight up and do that with the top banner so I'll click on that top banner uh, right there and now I can line that up with the edge of the content area and go straight up and I've got that lining up nicely uh, maybe and I want to center that switch the top banner group get that kind of the middle I'm gonna eyeball all these so I'm gonna take this guide off so I'm not confused like that down a little bit the space between the side and the top should be even uh, I'll select the and I'm selecting these by doing control and I click on the uh, on the object and, it get, and I can choose which layer I want to control in this case I want to control yeah, the scan column move that over and the space between these two columns content navigation top banner should be about the same it looks like it this is a little wide here so content column bring that over like that and the footer bring that down so actually so since the sizes are really approximate and I'm running out of space at the bottom here I'm just gonna go to the uh, content column and um, select the content layer I'm just gonna knock off the bottom of oop, the bottom of uh, content sorry wrong place well I'm in the content ones right just knock off the bottom of that and go to the footer uh, box uh, content column scan column sorry here it is scan column box I'll line it up with the content one you don't get too hung up in these techniques I mean you'll discover your own you probably won't even been using Photoshop some of you but the point I'm trying to make about this is that for these things to look professional you want it it's the attention to the detail that makes that makes a difference and already you can see how much uh, nicer this looks so I will take the content column nudge that over so it's even there select the top banner box get my eraser tool knock that off there and you can see how quickly it starts looking much more professional same thing with my type so I'm going to take a minute and adjust my type so it's all consistent okay so what I've done now is to, is lined up my topography my type and then um, used a ruler to uh, a ruler guide to help me line up the edges there which I'll take off now and by lining up the topography and make it consistent, lining up the navigation word with content starts looking much more professional.